Hi, in this video, I want to show you uh, a simple way to execute PowerShell commands on the MID server and retrieve the output back to the service node. So there are two ways you can do this. Uh, first is using ECC queues and second is using uh, the PowerShell custom activity in service now. So um, the first method, um, basically how it works is we send a PowerShell command, um, you know, we, we create a PowerShell command in ECC queue and we put it in the output queue and the command is then sent to the MID server and gets executed and the output of the command is placed in an input queue in an ECQ, ECC queue and we process that input queue and retrieve the output. So this is basically how it works. So um, so we go to the um, we go to the we go to the ECC queue and we create a new record. The the agent um, here is the MID server. So I have a an MID server already installed and set up and running. So I'm just going to copy the server name. And the queue is output. And the topic is command and the name is the actual PowerShell command. So in this case, um, PowerShell.exe get uh, service. So one, when we execute this command, let's go, let's go ahead and create this queue record. So if you refresh the queue, so this is the output queue that we created, which is processed. Um, and there is already a, a new record in the queue, um, which is in the input queue, and it's ready. So if you open the this queue record, and you can see the within the payload dot um, within the payload field, you can see the output of the PowerShell command that we had created. So this PowerShell command was ran on the MID server, and these are all the list of actors. These are all the list of all the services um, that are in in on the Windows machine. So uh, this is so the same way we can also implement a we can implement a simple JavaScript uh, code um, to create the record um, in the ECC queue and uh, and and pass the actual PowerShell command um, to it. So it's just it just creates an um, output queue in ECC and then retrieves the input queue and then um, assigns that output um, to a variable. So if I click this and run it and uh, it should finish pretty quickly but uh, if you go back to the um, to the ECC queue uh, you should see another um, set of um, queue records and if you go back if you go to the input and you should see the um, you know um, in this case I have uh, the same command running and it get, gets a list of all the services um, another way of doing this is um, using the custom PowerShell activity. So if I go to the custom activities and if I click on the PowerShell, you can create your own custom activity. So I created that custom PowerShell activity here, um, pretty simple. Um, you have uh, two input variables, host and command. The host is where the, um, um, the host machine where the PowerShell will be ran and the command is the actual PowerShell command. Um, the execution command where you can just drag and drop the host into target host and the command into the command uh, field. The output is I'm assigning the, uh, I'm crea I, I'm, I created a new variable called output and then I assigned the execution result or output to this variable. And in the post processing, I just assign the output of this PowerShell command and I try to log um, um, into the service now. And I, um, that's, that's this, but particular custom act. So the PowerShell workflow just execute this activity and we can pass in two values which is the host in this case localhost where we wanted to run this on the MID server and um, you know um, this is the it gets a list of all the services running on it. So let's go ahead and click this and run start. So it's executing right now the PowerShell command. So it just finished. Um, so we can just uh, refresh the uh, workflow context and you can see this, it just finished and you can click the, uh, the workflow context and you can go to log and um, um, when you go to the information, show log entries, 
you can see the um, the output um, of the variable which we logged into ServiceNow has all the services running that it shows. So that gives you an idea of how you can run a PowerShell command in ServiceNow uh, using MID servers and um, retrieve the output and store it in a variable and then you can use, you can do whatever you want from there.